All right, Mr. Barlavon, what do you have for What's me? this? One of the Earth Clan. Ah, a very famous one, yes? I you guess. the one called Shepard. The tale of how you survived the great tragedy on Akuz is truly remarkable. I am amazed each time I hear it. Um... Well, clearly we haven't met because he's heard stories about us. And I definitely don't think he's spying on me because I think this is just mass stories going around. So I don't want to be rude and go in this direction. So uh, I'm just going to ask who he is. And hopefully this goes better than the other two. You've got me at a disadvantage here. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barlavan. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. So I was told to come talk to you. I've heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Saren? Probably not. <laughs> you're very blunt, Shepard. But you're right. I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. And I do know something about Saren. Uh, this sounds intimidating. I don't want to just say start talking. Because he's being nice to us. And I, I don't necessarily want to pay for information if I don't have to. But maybe we can cut a deal some other way. So, uh, this probably logically makes the most sense for me as of now. So, hey, buddy, uh, you think we can make a deal? I hear your information can be expensive. See, that's exactly Normally, why. Normally, this information would cost a small fortune. But these are exceptional circumstances. Oh. So I am going to give it to you for free. Thank you. Where's the, What's catch? the catch? I knew it. <laughs> there is no catch. The shadow broker is quite upset with Saren right now. They used to do a lot of business until Saren turned on him. Uh, well, he's not the only one. Saren's turned on a lot of people lately. I don't know the details, but the shadow broker hired a freelancer to deal with it, a Krogan mercenary. Yeah, where do you, where is he? How do I find him? I heard he was paying Citadel Security a visit. If you hurry, you can probably catch him before he leaves the CSEC Academy. Okay, so we're going back to CSEC. I hope I remember how to get back there, man. This place is pretty sprawling. Uh, why is he there anyways? Isn't it strange that a Krogan would want to speak with CSEC? Very. However, I doubt the visit was entirely his choice. You'll need to speak with him if you want to know more. Uh, tell me about the Citadel. What's it like living here on the Citadel? The station is, without a doubt, the greatest wonder in the galaxy. It is a technological marvel, but its true splendor goes much deeper than the hull and engines. From the Presidium to the wards, the entire station is a testament to the success of the Council. All the species of Citadel space together in a single strong community. Well, tell me about Presidium. What makes the Presidium so special? It is the political center of Citadel space. 80% of all intelligent species in the known galaxy acknowledge the Council's authority on interstellar matters. But only the most powerful and influential species have embassies here on the Presidium. This level of the station is reserved for the elite, Shepard. People like us. So you're an elite, I see. Uh, I don't know why this is still highlighted. It, would he give me more information? I don't think so. So tell me about the wards. What are the wards like? The cultural heart of the galaxy. They pulse with the lifeblood of millions of citizens from dozens of different species. You never know what you'll find down in the wards, Commander. It's always full of surprises. Fortunately, most of them are pleasant. Okay. Uh, well, Shadow Broker. What about that? Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. Most people think I deal in finances, but my real currency is knowledge. I trade information, and it has made me very wealthy. But the Shadow Broker is the true master. Every day he buys and sells secrets that could topple governments, always giving them to the highest bidder. Yet somehow he never seems to upset the natural balance of power. 
All those secrets being passed around seem to even out. Nobody ends up with an advantage in the end. Who is the Shadow Broker? Any guess what his identity might be? I don't know. Nobody does. The Shadow Broker could be any race, any gender. I have a theory that it's actually an entire group working under one identity. Ah. How else could they juggle so many contacts at the same time? How else could they keep all that information from getting crossed? But they've got the perfect setup. Every government is forced to play their game so they don't get behind. But no matter how long you play, no matter how many secrets you buy, you can never win. Okay, so this this is definitely interesting. But he's your Asian. I thought you'd know more about the man <clears throat> you work for. From time to time, I come across information I sell to the Shadow Broker. That's my only involvement. I like it that way. The more you know, the more dangerous the game becomes. I don't like danger, Commander. I'll leave that to you. Okay, well, it was a pleasure speaking to you, Mr. Bar Levon, and thanks for the information. I should go. So we gotta Goodbye, go back to CSEC. Yes. He's an interesting little fellow, isn't he? Hold on, where does... Oh, is this the guy that was preaching? No, Emporium Shopkeeper. Hold up. Wait a second. Ah, human. This one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent Emporium. Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Delan. Please huh. take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll check out what Double you have. Items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. They look weird, and they it's clearly that uh they speak telepathically. So view upgrades, view non-human armors. View standard items. I guess standard items, right? Does standard items mean human items? I think so, because this is something I definitely can't afford. <laughs> I can't afford anything. I only have 820 bucks. I can afford this. It's a unique item, though, but, uh, for the Normandy Quartermaster? Oh, crap, I just bought it. I didn't mean to. Or did I? Oh, man. And, oh, that's horrible. I wasted money. Oh, well. It happens. I swear, those, uh, that race of people really look freaking cool, man. Alright, let's go back. We gotta go back to the security place. Uh, so let's go. I want to say it's on the other side. I can't remember exactly where it's at. This place is kind of hard to remember the, the places. I am blind. I'm going through this blind, so. It's kind of, I'm kind of learning new things, you know what I mean? So it's, bear with me, guys. I want to say... This way, maybe? I think... I think... Yeah, CSEC Academy. Okay, perfect. This is definitely the way to go. It's around here somewhere. I know we have to go through the door. Uh, well, this is CSEC Academy right here. It wasn't the door I remembered going through, but hey, it works, whatever. Celebrations are being planned for the anniversary of the end of the Rachni Wars. Many council worlds, particularly Can I skip this, please? Asarian Thank you. Alrighty. Now to figure out which way it was. This place is, in, is extremely confusing. Is it down here, I think? Wait, what is this? Can I open the door, please? Oh, there we go. Oh, wait, this is... No, this is an elevator. I'm not trying to get on the elevator. No siree. So where does this go? Wait, what's going on? Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. 
This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. Damn. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Oh, this guy's crazy. Go on. Get out of here. Yes, human. Oh, Rex? Can you help me? I'm trying to bring down Seraph. Barlavon said familiar? to talk to you. Barlavon is a wise man. We may oh. share a common goal, human. Uh, we share common How's that? Enlighten me. I've been hired to kill the owner of Korra's den, a man named Fist. He did something very foolish. Uh, let me guess. He betrayed the Shadow Broker. A Quarian showed up here on the Citadel. She was on the run. She wanted to trade information for a safe place to hide, so she went to Fist. Am I going to get a companion? He promised to arrange a meeting between her and the Shadow Broker. Instead... He contacted Saren. Big mistake. Fist's not too smart. He's just greedy. Saren paid him a small fortune for the Quarian. He had to. She has evidence connecting him to the Geth. If we get our hands on that evidence, we can prove that Saren's a traitor. And the Council will have to listen to us. Uh, yeah, I have to find her. Where's the Quarian now? Last I heard, Fist still had her. <laughs> Probably somewhere inside his club. You help me kill Fist, she's all yours. What about the Shadow Broker? I want to know more about your employer. Can't tell you much. All I got was a coded message with the details of the job. Standard procedure. Maybe what he's a computer. That Turian. He wants to take Saren down too. Oh, are we going to be able to get a Turian? That's the one companion species, I guess, that I've wanted to. Uh, we could use him. He might come in handy. He was here just before you showed up. Said he was going to follow up a lead on his investigation. Wanted to speak to the doctor at the med clinic. Move out. Oh, nice. Uh, so I'll, uh... Add to squad. We'll keep him and her. I'm not a huge fan of him, to be honest. So, yeah, let's go ahead with this. How many people can I take with me? So I can only take two. That's good enough. All right. So I, if I do get that other species, I will definitely be taking him over this other alien. Hold up. Where? This is C-Sec, isn't it? So this is where we have to go. But I would want to go to that medic bay first. If I could find it. Or maybe I should just talk to him. Screw it, we're already here, we might as well. All right, it's probably somebody down here that we gotta talk to. Hello, Commander. Who am I talking to? Can't help you right now. Rude. Okay. Ja, he, oh, this is the guy that I need to talk to. Oh, there you are. Have you spoken with Shorbin yet? Oh, <laughs> no. I haven't gone there yet. Of course. I'm sure you will deal with it appropriately. Good luck. Okay, so maybe I was wrong. <laughs> Dude, the, these guys don't seem like it's anything. So this is definitely not the way I'm supposed to go. I think I have like a few missions on hand that I need to figure out which one's which, to be honest. So where did I come from? Did I come from up there? I think so, so let's try of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many let's try this one. Are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents have expanded All right, let me skip this because I definitely don't want to hear that. Hold up, this is a completely different I haven't even been here yet. Oh look, it's the Normandy. That's our ship, that's freaking awesome. But this is definitely not the place. I'm surprised you're willing to fight Krogan, Rex. I thought you would stand with your own. Anyone who fights us is either stupid... Oops. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Huh. So where's the next place I need to go? This place is so confusing. 
All right, let's go back to the docks because I think the med bay is over a here. Excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after oh, not the docks, the dig site. Presidium. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. If you say so. Yeah, it's going to take me a little bit of time to get used to this place, to be honest. So if I remember correctly, it's up here to the left around the corner. There should be another way into the medical section not the citadel towers that's not where i'm trying to go it's up here i'm i'm certain of it okay so it's not this door's the other door i remember specifically coming up here for something i just don't really remember what i even spoke to that lady right there the receptionist all right, so let's open this door. Uh, did another door just open? Yes. Where is this? Diplomat? Let's talk to her. I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. That's great. Whoa, look at this guy. Human, delighted, welcome. It is good to meet you. Nice to meet you too. That was that guy is pretty cool. I can't even talk to this dude. Alright, so this is definitely an area where I haven't been yet. Because I don't remember this at all. So let's go this way. Hold up, what's in here? Palin? Have we talked to him? Commander Shepard, <laughs> I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? Um... Who are you? Have we met before? No, but I know you well enough. I'm Executor Palin, head of CSEC. Oh. It's my job to know when someone like you arrives on the Citadel. Was there something you needed, Commander? Have I have I talked to him before? Uh tell me about CSEC. Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. That's good. Of course, as the seasick representative to the council, I spend most of my time liaising between the two. Good to know. What about the specters? What do you know about the specters? They're the right hand of the council, or so they like to be called. More like the underhand inside of the council. You don't like them? What do you have against the specters? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. Especially when it's left up to each individual specter to decide when and how to bend the rules. You know what? I'm not going to say this because I kind of agree with him. Uh, you have an attitude towards humans? I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get. And you're being given a lot. If the Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have to like it. I mean, that's fair. Tell me about your investigation <clears throat> into Sarah. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. Garrus? Then can you tell me what you know about Garrus? Garrus Vicarian? Good officer. Very good, in fact. But he needs to learn some patience. You'd think an officer of the law would be a bit more mindful of rules and regulations. Was there anything else? No, I guess that's it. Going now. Goodbye. So, Garrus, is that the is that the the dude that we're looking for? Somebody here. Have we spoken? Oh, she is she the one from the board? I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. It's not. Private Fredericks. What do you want? Oh, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? Calm down, Private. This isn't an inspection. Right, sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? Coscart? What can you tell me about the Asari Consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with... things. <laughs> You've never been, have you, boy? I, uh... No, I never did. <sighs> I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Uh, where is she? Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. I will. 
Have fun, that is. Okay, I'm not getting a lot of good information here. I need to find the med bay, the med bay, but I have no idea where it's at, and I'm clearly going the wrong way. So far, most of this playthrough has been me trying to figure out this location. Okay, so let's go towards the Citadel Towers. Maybe we'll find another door that will lead us in the right direction. Okay, so that's the financial district. We've been there before. That's where we found uh, Bar Levon. Or Bar Levon? One of those two. It's gotta be up here somewhere. Okay, so I just did a gigantic circle. So it wasn't over this way then. It was... It's got to be this way, right? To the wards. Well, it wasn't in the wards. I remember because I didn't fully go there because I got distracted and I went somewhere else. Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the genetics corp. Okay. Either way, I want a Krogan, so I don't want to hear your stories. I want one of them as my companion. Maybe it is over here. Hold up. Oh no, this is back in CSEC area, isn't it? I don't know. Maybe not, but still. Who are these two? In remembrance to the wards. Of Prime, we present another profile in courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just take me to my location. What was that? What is this? Why is it red in here? Uh, I'm kind of confused. So I want to clear the area that I was at first the music changed so something I feel like something's gonna happen in this room for some reason oh this is it this is it guys I finally figured it out yeah cuz I was going in this direction this is where the med bay was and then I ended up turning around and going downstairs I think so okay so this is the medic door I didn't tell oh god what's going on that was smart done now, if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go. This has to be Garrus, right? Oh, he just shot him in the face. And he has no marks on his face. That was interesting. What's up, buddy? Oh, God. Maybe I should relax a little bit. Got him. Ooh. Oh, snap. He's over here. You know what? I want... No, it wasn't that one. It was this one. The bottom is me, so I want my rifle. Negative contacts, Not that rifle. Are they all dead? What's going on here? Yeah, they I have no idea where they went. All right, let's talk to Garrus now that we finally made contact. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. Uh, nice shot, man. Took him down clean. Sometimes you get lucky. Doctor Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you, all of you. Uh, who were who? Well, tell me what happened. Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They worked for Feast. They wanted to shut me up. Keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. The one I told you about, Shepard. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Hmm. Yeah, but first, Fist, ha uh, Fist has her. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Why do you hate him anyways? You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? 
I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council and a disgrace to my people. Yeah, I remember I spoke to him before, right before we spoke to the con uh, council. So this is must be what he was trying to do, trying to get some more information. Uh, yeah, you made your case. Welcome aboard, Garrus. Fist is going to be waiting for us. When we hit him, we better hit him hard. I want him so bad. You are so coming with me. There's two more people. There's a lady. Well, two ladies that I can still bring along with me. I guess I'll take these two guys. I definitely want him, uh, Garrus. Right? That's his name, Garrus? Garrus, Valkyrian. Okay, so that's awesome. We have to find... Rapid transport. Where does this go over here? Nowhere. Okay, so now we... Let's go back to that one red room. Since that's, a uh, clearly an area we haven't been to yet. And that's back in this direction, clearly. This place is so big, it's not even funny. It's hard to remember where everything is. It wasn't here, right? Okay, so let's go to the opposite direction of this. And see what we can find, because it definitely feels like there's something over here, but I'm not entirely sure what it is. Or what we're looking for. In this direction. Okay, so maybe nothing. Oh, Chor's Den! Isn't this where... Where Fist is? I want to say yes. Oh god, oh god, what's going on? Oh snap. Here, let me get right here. Where are these guys at? Stay still, damn it. Here. No, get down there. Get down. Oh snap. Okay, I got one of them. That's good. Oh snap, they got my flank. They're not gonna survive, bro. Sorry to break it to you. You guys are not gonna survive. Oh, there's somebody right here. Ooh, that could have been dangerous. I had no cover. No, get out of there. Oh. Ooh, there's so many. Why is there so many bad guys here? Did someone just shoot me? Dude, we're literally taking out the entire bar. Garrus, get out of my way. It almost made me shoot you. Whoops, that was an accident. How do I heal again? I can't remember. Uh, let's see what's in here. Warehouse worker? Stop right there. Don't come any closer. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back or we'll shoot. Uh save yourself. I think they're just trying to defend themselves. This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. Yeah, okay, so they are employees. Oh, this is it. We have to I be never thought of that. Shooting people isn't always the answer. Hey, at least I did something good, right? Paragon plus two is that? Is that like the good karma type thing? Oh, snap. Get out of my way, Garrus. I'm not trying to die here. Get behind cover, damn it. Okay. No! What happened? He wouldn't get behind any cover. I hope it auto saved. Oh, I'm gonna have to do this all over again. That's fine. At least I know that there's combat here. So I could be a little bit better prepared. Just don't get in my way, Garrus, please. Take him out. I'll focus on this guy. Is 
he dead? Woo! Let's get these guys. Okay, that guy is extremely tanky. Get behind cover. I don't think you can get me from where he is. Done though. Who is shooting me? Alright, good. He's down. That was a little scary to be honest because I couldn't see him. Get my cover. Alright, he's down. That's the bartender, too. Shoot him in the leg. Sorry, Mr. Bartender Man, but you literally didn't stand a chance. He's down. Good. Nothing but headshots. So this is definitely where we ended up last time. We're going to do the same thing all over again. We're going to try to save these guys. Oh, God. Not that. Gotta get back because that thing's gonna explode. Eventually. That grenade takes forever to blow up, by the way. Stop right there. Don't come any closer. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back or we'll shoot. Save yourselves. This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. Yeah, I never like fist anyway. Good. I would have never thought of that. Shooting people isn't always the answer. I like Garrus. Okay, so there was a big firefight coming up right here. And for some reason, I can't get behind cover. Wait, what is that? Whoa! It's some sort of a... Like a turret, maybe. I think that's what killed me quickly last time. Get him! That was fist, by the Wait, way. Don't kill me, I surrender. Start talking. Tell me where the quarry is, and I won't have to shoot you in the kneecaps. She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's lying. Um Nobody lies to me, Fist. You've got three seconds to come clean. Then I start shooting. The Quarian isn't here. Said you'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Impossible. The Shadow Broker only works through his agents. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker. Ever. Except me. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Where's the meeting? Give me the location. Now. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. Uh let's go. There's no time to waste. Come on. Don't worry, you'll never see me again. Good. Uh get the quarry and warn her before it's too late. Where am I supposed to get the quarry? I have three minutes? Open the door. This is gonna be a disaster, isn't it? Oh god! I did not expect. Oh my god, it's this again. Am I trapped? What's going on here? Come on, they all gotta go down. Or I won't stand a chance here. This takes so long to, to blow up that everyone and their mom has enough time to get out of the way. It's so annoying. The grenades in this game are pretty bad, to be honest. There's somebody back here. Oh no! Where'd he- Woo! 
I saw my life flash before my eyes right there. So the corn's gotta be somewhere not too far because it's only a three minute clock. Right? Uh, okay, so it's not this way. Let's go ahead and go back. Where? Is this it? Did you bring it? Oh, that's a companion. Broker. Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The wow. Off. Oh, she's feisty. Let's go. Protect her. Oh, God. I need to get behind cover. Cause this is gonna end up badly if I don't. Can I not shoot? Get down. That might actually be good. It's not. Woo, we got the assassin. Just set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. Uh, well, I took care of him already. Don't worry about Fist. He got what was coming to him. Then I guess there are two things I need to thank you for. Who are you? A friend. My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. The Ambassador's office. It's safe there. I want to see this anyway. It's interesting. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? Who's this? <laughs> I knew Korean? it. What are you up to, Shepard? Uh... She can help us. Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. Pilgrimage? I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. What? What do you mean something of value? What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Uh, continue. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. Uh -huh. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. Is that true? How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, Careful and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Got Most it. of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. What's the conduit, though? He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. Okay. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. Whoa, that sounds... That sounds I don't scary. I recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. 
What are they? Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. It can't be far-fetched, man. If he believes it and he's actually going on a journey to get it, it or to get all of that, can't be that false, right? The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. But will they believe it? This is a lot to handle. They might just ignore everything we tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her, the Quarian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. Oh, absolutely. What about your quest? I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. Uh, yeah, of course. Come join us. I'll take all the help I can get. Oh, we're building up Thanks. a nice team. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. We've gotten... We just need one more. Where do I find her, though? I want him. Should I take Ashley or Talazora? Uh, I think I'm just going to I think I'm just going to keep Ashley. She's she's came in clutch quite a bit to be honest. Plus my combat stre uh, strength is through the roof. Okay. So now we got to go back to the council? Is that what's going on? Let me see. Journal. Wait, Citadel fan, you probably haven't seen the last of Conrad. What harm could there be in talking with him if you meet again? Okay. Citadel reporters request this is what I'm doing now, I think. So Fist's office at Chora's Den in the lower wards might have more information about the criminal activities Emily wants to find. Head there and search the office. That sucks cause, that sucks because I was already there. Uh talk to Chorbin. Jalid wants to talk to Chorbin for him. The Salarian will meet you in the lower markets. So I gotta go to the lower markets. Inform the CSEC officer. Tell the CSEC officer in Presidium that there uh, that the hangar will no longer be preaching there. Okay. So I got quite a few things. Hold on, equipment. Uh I legit don't know any of this. Okay, whatever. I legit don't know what I just did. But I could always use some more Omni Gel. Wait, who are these guys? Hello there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. Why? You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong. And it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. Uh, the consort? Who's this Asari consort? Curious. You have not heard. You must be new to the Citadel. Everyone knows Sha'ira, the consort. I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. 
Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Where is she? Where can I find this Asari consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. Thank you. So that's probably over there where we found Barla? Kaelin? Let's see what they have to say. You are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Din. At least introduce yourself. Thank you, sir. I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? Uh, why are you so cranky? You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. <gasps> Chastising rebuke, Din. <laughs> Your species has always been granted many concessions. Volus territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. I like this guy. <clears throat> or girl? I don't know. We still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. Uh, I don't really want to know about any of this. At least Goodbye, not right now. Earth. Let's go ahead and go. I yes, think this is yes. a vendor, day, maybe? Earth Clan. I want to go back to to uh, the council and see what they have to say about all of this. Wait, isn't this where that one dude was? I don't know. The CSEC officer? Or leader? Okay, so we are back here. Commander Shepard, could you spare a moment of your time? Yeah, of course. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. Uh, happy to help. It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. Wait, the 212? Your wife was serviceman Narali Bhatia. I'm Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. I served in her unit. Oh, Chief snap. Williams, it is a pleasure. Nirali spoke of you with great respect. I'm so sorry for your loss, Mr. Bhatia. Nirali was a good woman. What can we do for you? I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did... why... uh... did they say why? Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. We'll, we'll make it. We'll put this right. That's There's messed no up. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral. And the respect she deserves. No, I get it. So there's an expensive bar over there. But. I got somewhere I gotta be. Can I just fast travel there? Let me see. Uh, Presidium location. Citadel Tower. That's exactly where I'm trying to go, right? Because I'm trying to tell the council what happened. Come on, Gareth. And Ashley. Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the council. I bet you they're Even just gonna outcast it like it's nothing. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. They're gonna this ignore it. This is irrefutable, Ambassador. Oh, wait. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status. And oh, snap! will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. Yes! I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch uh. Benezia. Uh, Matriarch Benezia? Who's she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. Uh, the Geth revere them. Actually, 
Saren's trying to bring them the back. Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Night. <sighs> Does it? It's gotta be trouble. Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I mean, you've doubted me before. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. I've seen them in my vision. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. Good! That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A is he that powerful? Cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Send me then. I can take Saren down. The commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. Uh, it's the best solution you have. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's happy. Oh my god, is it gonna happen? Oh my god, I think we did it. We're gonna become a Spectre. No way. Commander Shepard, step forward. Oh my god. Look at everyone's interested. The first human Spectre. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Oh Spectres snap. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. Thank you. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Do we have any leads? Any idea where to find them? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Oh snap, dude. We are a Spectre officially. Congratulations, Commander. Thank You've you, sir. You've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. Nice. Become a Spectre. Oh, this is exciting. I expected your ambassador to be more grateful. He didn't even thank you. Uh, I don't blame him. He has a lot of a lot on his shoulders right now. Until I find Saren, I haven't done anything. Come on. Right behind you, Commander. Spectre bonus. Spectre training talent unlocked. I don't know what that means, but I'll, I guess. 
So, wait, where are we supposed to go now? Let me see. Expose Saren. Did I fail all the rest of my missions? Ambassador, the ambassador will prove uh, provide you with a ship and a crew. Meet him with the at the Alliance docking bay, accessible through the central elevator in the C Sec Academy. So C Sec Academy, it is. Let's go ahead and go.